you, Jason. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, Kelly. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Well, thanks for having me on here and uh, thinking that my experience is important enough to talk about. Well, of course, you know, with you being based out in Germany and, you know, you being an Army logistics officer and with it being Military Appreciation Month, I have to have you in this video. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, you know, with that being said, what are some traits or skills you learned during your service that you use to navigate different cultures or situations? So before I answer that, Kelly, I did notice that you and I have something in common, uh, that we're both members of the Army Transportation Corps, where nothing happens until something moves. I was excited to see that. And uh, we just, you know, first want to thank you for your service. So, you know, the time that I had in the Army provided me with so much, you know, some fantastic experiences, uh, great places. Uh, but if I had to like highlight three skills that uh, I really kind of honed or, or built in my time during the Army, I would have to say that they're managing change, uh, empathy, and teamwork. You know, the, the Army exposed me to so many different cultures, experiences, and ideas. And, you know, they gave me the great opportunity to be, to travel 50 countries and five different continents. And, and I've learned so much about the importance of culture and language. Uh, one of the biggest skills I learned during my time in the Army was how to manage change. And so for an organization steeped in traditions, it, the Army is constantly changing. Uh, I'm sure you remember hearing the, the, the common slogan or phrase, no plan survives contact with the enemy uh, from the Prussian Field Marshal Moltke. Um, I found that this phrase really transcends the military applicability and applies to much of what we do every day. Uh, you know, the military has taught me so much of how to deal with that change, not so much to control it, but how to just manage it. And that we each at the heart of it really kind of thrive under different conditions. And, you know, unfortunately, when we come across somebody who's having problems doing something or, or performing their job, we're really quick to cast judgment and think, oh, this person's terrible, man. They, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they don't care about their work. And you get frustrated, right? Uh, without taking the time to understand who they are and, and what their experiences are and maybe whether they're really a fit for the job. Um, I, I think when this happens, what we should do is, is really consider the conditions, right, that surround the job in this person. A third skill that I learned in my time in service to, to navigate different cultures um, is teamwork. Although I didn't learn teamwork from the Army, uh, it did change my concept for what teamwork is. Uh, as I, you know, growing up and doing sports, you, you tend to learn about the uniformity and doing everything the same. Um, and, and, and that's really, it, it fills us with an impression about what teamwork means and that everybody needs to be the same. Oddly enough, though, it was my work in the Army where I quickly recognized the importance of diversity. Uh, building teams of people who look, sound, and think differently it wasn't just fun. It, uh, I mean, it was way more productive. Yeah, I, I have to completely 100% agree. You pretty much hit the nail on, on the head on that with you know with everything that you stated so all right kelly so i have a question for you uh yeah. as a transportation coordinator in the military and then now with crowley how do you describe your transition from a career you know a, a military career into a civilian career oh goodness um so i would have to say that the biggest uh, you know, transition for me from going from 10 years in the Army to a civilian job, I would have to say was reteaching myself how to, you know, to speak civilian, I guess is the way to put it. Um, you know, because um, for 10 years, I've been so used to speaking, you know, to soldiers, to, you know, to officials, government officials at that too. And just, the military acronyms, the military terminology, everything, you know, just speaking that way and not having to think twice that they don't understand what I'm talking about or they didn't comprehend it. 
and but, you know coming to the civilian work life and and you know realizing that not very many civilians understand you know the military terminology the military acronyms it's it it just astonished me and it just made me rethink everything that i have to say and you know when i'm speaking to somebody and they ask me you know a quite like a simple question like hey what what do you do in the army and i'm just immediately without thinking twice oh i was an 88 mike and then went to an 88 november and then they're just looking at me like confused like um i have a question about that what is what is that you know and then just having to be like oh kelly come on like you you know that they they don't know what that is and just kind of like having to explain to them you know this is what i did and you know it's pretty much the same thing that i do now with crowley so it, if you figure that out uh you know how to make that transition and stop speaking military if you could let me know uh, i'd appreciate it um i'm yeah. still <laughs> i'm still struggling Hey, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. I appreciate it, Kelly. Yeah, definitely.